beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth in him was life and the life of the light of men and the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehended it. As the year draws to an end and families begin to close their curtains of activities, one begins to number and count achievements. We begin to tag the prayers that were answered, we number our tens givings, we number the expectations that were met, we number the ones that we never realized and deep down in the corridors of our souls there is still hope that somehow, a day before Christmas or two days afterwards, our desires will still be there. Lists are already being ticked. Bags of rice lying on the cold tiles of our kitchen floor. The smell of abundance. In other homes, not a single grain of rice has been bought for Christmas. And old clothes will be repeated again with a smile. In few homes, this year was an open door of finances. In other homes, this year was an avalanche of heartbreaks. Properties were lost, relationships were ended, friends became enemies, and relatives failed to see eye to eye. Money was never a frequent visitor, and luck was a flatmate. This Christmas has been an open book of prayer points, of hearts pleading their pleas to God. Dear God, don't let the year end this way. Dear God, see the rise and fall of my heart. Dear God, give me a Christmas gift. Dear God, please, what you already did. For God so loved the world that he gave. This Christmas has drawn more tears than laughter. This Christmas has drawn more requests than thanksgiving. Eager hearts waiting to see if the red and white on Christmas Day will remind God of the blood. If it will remind him of the righteousness and purity of a father the places his children first. This Christmas is marked in a year that shook the faith of the population, in a year that tested the faith of the believer, in a year where hearts prayed more than the pumped blood, in a year where Christmas carols were not hummed alongside to, in a year where everyone complained of how the smell of Christmas is not in the air, of how the boutiques on the street are not stacked red and white attires. But for the believer, this Christmas will still be merry because even in a time like this, Christ is still born, the Savior is still giving, wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. The star is still mighty upon the night sky, drawing wise men and shepherds, angels are still chanting the hallelujah on the stairs of divinity, sinners still see the hope of reconciliation with the Father. So Merry Christmas. The Christmas desires will still be met. The lion and the lamb is born. Be of good cheer.